Selling products and services isn't an easy thing to do, especially in such a noisy market that we have today. So how do you differentiate yourself and how do you stand out to your customers or your potential customers? One of the ways of doing this is offers. Now it's a fact that people don't buy products and services, they actually buy offers. So how well you can present and market an offer can make a huge difference in how you turn over your customers online or even in person depending on what you do for a business. Over the next couple of minutes, I'm going to touch on a few points that we've learned in Kahal regarding the offer stack and how you utilize this best in your business in order to achieve results. Now the first point to note on this topic is differentiation. How do you differentiate yourself from your competitors in the market? Now it's about providing the best offer and there's a number of different methods that you can use but essentially what you want to make sure that you're doing is ensuring that your offer that you're providing for your product or your service is going to help your customer to achieve their problem, achieve their goal and get to the end goal for them in terms of your product and service faster, easier, with lower cost and lower risk. Now a really good way to differentiate from your competitors is to research your competitors. Go onto their websites, Google their names and have a look at their reviews and have a look at the things that they did well and the things that they could have improved on based on the reviews of their past customers. This is going to allow you to know better your customer or your potential customer for the future and how you can then look to differentiate yourself from the service or the products that they've received in the past. A short little process for this can be like the following. Look at the core pain points of your customer, the things that are irking them, the things that are that they need to solve uh, and they're finding a product or a service in order to do this. Once you can do that and then relate that to the goals that they have and the end goal, you can then sell your offer and your product or service based on how you're going to transform them from where they are in their particular predicament to where they need to be. So differentiating yourself from your competitors and providing offers and offer stacks helps you to increase your perceived value. Now for the various methods. Now there are four that we're going to touch on today, so let's get started. Number one, bundling. Now bundling involves putting together a number of different physical products or services in a pack, in a combo, uh, in an offer stack, which you can then sell at a fraction of the price of what it would cost your customer if they were to buy these things individually. There are many everyday examples that we come across in regards to bundling. Sometimes it's around what Travis was talking about, which was mobile phones, where you get a, a bundle that comes along with the mobile phone, maybe a screen protector, a case, an extra wireless charger, maybe some Bluetooth headphones, and you get that $400, $500 worth of value for an extra 40 or 50 bucks. Now, that's a really smart way of marketing. Another way is gaming consoles, where they sell not just a gaming console with a controller, which is the normal purchase, but they now have an extra controller, a couple of games, maybe even some V-Bucks on Fortnite and things like that. For my own business, it's, it's like this. We move people for a living. So we move people in their houses for a living. But if we can get in there and sell them a combination of things that they're already going to have to deal with, things like packing, as well as the move, which is the initial product, and also potentially a clean, which we have the ability to do, and then a rubbish removal service, we can then bundle that all together and instead of them going to four different places for these four different things, we can offer that whole thing as, at a bundle price. Now number two is the breakdown or the unpack method, which involves taking your products or your services and breaking them down into smaller segments and then assigning values to those specific things. Now I'm going to relate this to my own business in terms of the fact that we move houses and, and anything to do with relocations and, and removals we kind of cover. So breaking down my products and services could be like this. It's not a, it's a very costly thing to hire movers. So what we do offer is we offer to go in there and we offer to move the large items, things like refrigerators, pianos, um, any large or delicate cabinets that may be there, bookshelves, things that wouldn't normally fit in a car or an SUV or on a trailer uh, without taking up a lot of space. Once we get our foot in the door, what we can do is we can we can do things like take a lead magnet along, a little brochure, probably give them a business card which redirects them to our website, which then they'll see the other services that we provide. Number three is about bundling low production costs, high value digital products and services along with your core products. Now, that's a mouthful. So 
basically what it is is something that doesn't take you a lot of time like something like a brochure a digital brochure a digital how-to and providing that along with your core product or service so that they can achieve them being the customer or your your customer avatar or your ideal customer your potential customer helps them to get to their goal faster easier with lower cost and lower risk now a really good example of these in my opinion is the hello fresh meals so anyone that understands the hello fresh meals it's about providing you to your doorstep with fresh food and ingredients in order to make a meal but not only that but they provide you with a brochure or a card and i believe there might be a link to a video that can help you to make these meals so you're not mucking around with the how do I make this beautiful meal? It's all there on a plate for you. So what this does is increases the perceived value of their products. Now, number four and the fourth method is risk reversal. Now around products, this revolves around warranties. Warranties for faulty goods and services and having a return or a refund policy around these sorts of things. Now in a service business like ourselves, this revolves around guaranteeing your service. Now to wrap all this up in terms of the office stack, we're going to talk about the importance. Now, what is the importance of having an offer stack? Now, there are a few things to consider. One, it makes your offer irresistible. Two, it decreases the cost of your traffic. Three, it increases your conversion rates on your website. And four, you're going to need less traffic, less true fans, and the work that you put in is going to build and maintain a greater efficiency. If you don't put these things into play in terms of the offer stack, it could prove damaging to all these things that I've just mentioned. As a closing note, I want to reiterate a point that I made earlier around customers' pain points and making sure that we always have our customer pain points as well as their desired outcomes and their goals always in mind. And that if we are selling offer stacks for our products and our services, those offers need to be clearly articulated to your customer to make sure that they understand what transformation from where they are now, that your offer stack, your product and your service and the combination of those things, what transformation that's going to give to them to move them from point A to point B, which is their desired outcomes and their goals. And if you do this effectively, your business is going to win. And that's all from me today. Ciao.